Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Today we're going to make these little product price buttons say a lot more than product price. They're actually going to, if you do this correctly, do s describe what they are used to purchase and they're also going to be used to display the price. But it's still going to use the product hyphen price format. That's just what we're going to be using. Alright, so click here. Um, actually, we're going to use this one first, um, simply because we don't have to go through the tycoon and all kinds of stuff. And this way we guarantee whenever we copy this one, it's going to be correct. So we're going to just go in, and inside this script, after price, all we're going to do is script.parent.name. Remember, the script is directly in the product price model. So the name of it is product space hyphen um, space price. That's the format we're going to follow. Script.parent.name equals script.parent.productName dot dot. Remember the concatenation operator that I talked about way long ago back when this series was first really getting off the floor and getting going. Um, two dots is concatenation to join two strings together. Script.parent.productName space hyphen space dot dot price. Now, the, all this is doing is it's changing the name to these product names. Oh, actually, we need to do that value for the product name. The product name's value dot dot connecting space hyphen space and then connecting the price. Um, now, what we may want to do is if price we don't need a parenthesis, is less than or equal to zero, which it really can't be z less than zero, so equal to zero, then script.parent.name equals script.parent.productName.value. Do the whole thing, except we're also going to just do free here, because we want to say free instead of zero, because it's much more noticeable, and usually the free thing is what people have to buy first, and you don't really p want people having to search for it, because they eventually leave if they can't find it. So that's what we're going to do there. We're just going to close it and copy this script. Go ahead and go to the Explorer. We're going to copy this script, go down, go to Tycoon, Purchasing, Product Price. We're going to delete this script and put in another. Now hopefully, this is off topic guys, but hopefully in this episode I can have my face cam, um, which I have not had in the recent videos because of technical issues. Typically it's been my mouth is running about five times slower than my voice is going. And I, you guys, you would get really confused if you're watching my face cam, and I I don't want that. I want you guys to have a video where you're not confused and you can focus more on the lesson. Not to say the face cam is bad. The face cam, as far as I know, you guys like the face cam, and I love having the face cam. It just, it's got to be synchronized with my voice or else it's not useful. Alright, so now we can test this by pressing F6 and seeing Mario Star 6464, who's, I've helped him on the forum. Yeah, he's the guy with the huge Roblox Derby group and game. Good job, R Mario Star. I've helped you out on the forums, though, so that's why um, I know him. And it looks, oh, I am I am a fail, a huge fail. I'm not even going to show you the output right now. Um, we're just going to go into this script here, and we forgot, as many of you probably noticed, the end. We need an end after that if. And we're going to do that for the other product price as well. Just make sure it's in both of them. And that way it works. And now we'll press F6. And now we'll test it again. It's those little errors that I run into all the time. They're usually very easy to fix. Sometimes they take some reading to do. Like figure out what it is. But debugging is a critical part. Okay. It's working. Now, of course, we're still seeing an error, and another error. I wonder if we have hmm, player, player one. That's strange. Why did our leaderboard not do anything? Is it disabled? No? Huh. 
I'm surprised, but oh well. Um, we'll close this. Okay, now, oh, not the script. The issue is, if we go down to this tycoon, the issue is the product name. Go ahead and click it. Go down here to properties. The issue is the product name is empty. So it's working, but the product name is nothing. So we'll just put wall, all right? And then we will do, hopefully, our final test for the day. I don't know why that leaderboard didn't work. Maybe maybe we'll have to start like starting a server and then adding players to it. Who knows? Who cares? It'll work. All right, there we go. Everything's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. Um, I think I just moved uh, your screen. Oh, well. It, it looks like it didn't move it too far if I did. Uh, tools test start server I don't know if I've shown you guys the start server before the start server is great because it acts like a real Roblox server only people can't uh, join because we don't want people people are annoying right um, we apparently we have to accept this just yeah allow access um, it's, it's Roblox it's not gonna do anything and then you can press alt f7 or just tools test start player and usually this works in the case that, like, for some reason, Roblox is weird. Sometimes when you do the test, it'll fire the lead, um, player entered. Sometimes it won't. I, I'm just, I never can be sure about it. All right, we claimed the tycoon. And now if we step on this, the wall is there. Everything worked fine and dandy as always. So that's all for today. It's been a long episode for such a short thing. I was hoping to keep it under four minutes. But, all right, that's fine. You guys probably enjoy getting a little more time with this awesome person right here. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I said it right. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. It helps me out a ton, and I will catch you guys later.